Welcome to our We Choose to Thrive series, Barbie. I'm so happy that you have decided to join us and um, would just love to, to hear kind of a little bit of your backstory so that we understand what you've been through and then we'll talk about what you've been doing in the healing process. Do you care to share? I would love to share. I'd like to tell you that uh, about 15 years ago, um, I was hit by a car. I flew five feet in the air and I had suffered a uh, mild traumatic brain injury. So if I hop all over the place, that is why. Okay, well that helps us to understand that that's, it's quite all right if you do. The abuse started shortly after he and I got married. One day, I don't know, he just came out of rehab for uh, drugs, prescription drugs. Um, he was addicted to SOMAS. They're very powerful and addictive uh, muscle relaxers. They're as worse as uh, heroin, just mm -hmm. about. I, I don't know exactly what all went, ha went down, but I said I was going to go for a walk. He said, go. So I left, went for a walk, cooled down. And uh, when I came back, um, he kicked me down to the ground. Um, I'm not sure, you know, what all transpired. But then I, in return, jabbed, took my elbow and got him in the kidney just about. But the real thing was that he would also, would, like when he would be uh, on high on this medication, I don't know what trigger it, but he took a knife, he went into the kitchen, took the knife, chased me around the house with it until I went out the door. We lived in a mobile home and we had a glass door. So I prayed for strength to keep that door shut because he was making stabbing motions at the uh, at the class door. And I was on the phone with 911 and I told him, hurry up before he kills me. He finally came, took him to the hospital. I went with him and then, oh, he got real mean in there. And so I talked to somebody from crisis and also from survivors. And I said, I'm not leaving him because he it was all drug induced. He apologized to me. I went to my doctor's appointment. Before I went to my doctor's appointment, because the day before, he had gotten a ride somewhere to go get like a full, a tall bottle of vodka. He he was working on that, so I was like, and he was like somewhat kind of passed out. This was during the day, so. He was in the living room, so I went into the bedroom, looked, you know, everywhere, and I said, aha, I found it. So I took the bottle of vodka, dumped it down the toilet, and discarded it, and then I left for my appointment. Well, when I got home, I was on the phone with, uh, with another doctor, orthopedic doctor. He was like, what did you do with the vodka? With my bottle? And I told him that you finished it. He said, no, I did not. So then he grabbed my phone out of my left hand and then he started to uh, count on me and on the back of on the back of my head scratched my eye like about my eyebrow or so, said, then I tried to call my next door neighbor. He, he grabbed the phone from me. He put it down on the receiver. And then when I went to call 911, he went to grab me right around my neck and I took, and uh, he had a thumb near my mouth. So what I do, I bit down on his thumb as hard as I could. And he went flying. 
and knocked him on his butt, actually. And I was on the phone with 9-11, and he was trying to tell them she's the crazy one. And, that, of course, they asked if I had been drinking, and I said, I don't drink. If I drink, it's not to get drunk. <laughs> when did you finally make a break from what? Uh, I finally, I finally, the first time I took him back, try to work on our marriage, because I'm a Christian woman. Try to get through it hard. I finally decided to make a break from him on the 30th of May, 2013, because he had fractured my uh, left shoulder blade out of anger, and he was sober. And uh, that would that would be a wake up call, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. It would be a wake up call. So I left. Yeah. You know, and then I had the constable the next night take me to, you know, to get more of my stuff. So was the break from then on permanent? Yes. Okay. So, so I was not going to. I was not going to stick around for the third time. <laughs> Good for you. So, so what happened from there? Um, you know, most of us that go through things like this have a journey. We have a journey that we're on, and sometimes we don't. Have our, our own self worth is kind of low. We have a lot of healing to do because we've taken a lot of abuse for a lot of years, and there's yeah. trauma associated. So, tell us a little about a bit about this journey of healing that you've you've been on, and where are you now with it? Um. Well, from the abuse, I also suffer from uh, PTSD and anxiety issues. Where that's I'm pretty, at, that's pretty common. Where I'm at is I try to help others out. Like you'll see all my posts, you know, whether it'll be in your group or just, you know, for the public eye. And what I would tell the people that are going through it for the first time, I'd be like, it's okay, you're not alone. God's got this because he's in control. Right. And did you tap in, in into any kind of resources while well, after you made your break from him? Um, um, what did you tap into as far as that gave you the strength to start your healing process? I moved out and um, I went to uh, Survivors Inc., which is in Gettysburg. Yeah. And, and what happened there? Um, I stayed there until like about July because I was offered a place to stay as it turned out i was kind out of my money and i had to go so they couldn't take me back so i went to live with some other friends okay and so where would you say you are now in your healing journey are you feeling confident and good about yourself are you living a life more in line with what you always dreamed of for yourself yeah, but I also have my good and bad days. Mm -hmm. We all do. We're, we all have triggers that kind of get us one way or the other. If somebody is just starting through this change that you've made, that you would tell them that they're not alone, what else would you say to them? I'm always here for you. You can text me or friend me on Facebook and message me. Very good. So you're there for a good support system, aren't you? Yes. Very good. Well, I'm, I'm very proud of you that you made the changes because those changes are not easy to make. The strength that it takes to make the changes and to make the break is something that many women don't have the courage to do. And I always say, that I've always said is that it takes more courage to leave a bad situation than to stay in it. Because when you leave a situation, a bad situation, you don't know what you're facing. When you're in the situation, you know what you're facing and you know you're always on alert. But when you walk away from something, it becomes, it's the uncertainty of the unknown that you're dealing with. Where are you going to live? Where are you going to, how are you going to support yourself? All the pieces that go into that picture. I, my hat's off to you to say that thank you for having the courage and, and loving yourself enough to make the break and get away from it.
because that's the, the thing is that we have to come to love ourselves so much more because if we don't love ourselves, we can't really truly love anybody else. And right. by taking care of ourselves and nurturing ourselves and honoring ourselves with what is true and right for us, that's how that healing process begins. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing with us today, Barbie. You give your words of encouragement will be valuable for somebody else that's just starting that journey. And that's what this whole we choose to thrive process is about. It's 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 about more of us locking arms and being yeah. there for each other and supporting each other and saying, You can do this. Yeah, and I usually say, um, just take one day at a time. Mm -hmm. One day at a time. It's really important because it can get a, way too overwhelming other than that. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Thank you for participating in our We Choose to Thrive series. Very much Thank appreciate you. it.